So obviously there's always a worry when your child leaves the house and they are not in front of you because you can't really protect them. There's kids walking, there's cars going, buses, and people are just crazy in school zones. If you're in this kind of business, everything you do should be focused on safety. You know, a lot of people talk about in business, you know, what are their core values? And frankly, in the school bus business, the core value is safety. The business of safety is a multifaceted thing, but it's also multi-layered. So there's not going to be a silver bullet that suddenly goes from unsafe to safe. So what we need to do is to deploy a safety system in layers. So for example, school buses. More kids get killed and injured getting on and off the bus by surrounding traffic than by having crashes in the school bus. This is really important because for now, the school children are probably one of the worst affected vulnerable road user category with almost 25,000 injuries and 100 fatalities a year. So what we decided that it was time for the private sector to step up and deliver leadership in this space. And that means putting your money where your mouth is. Audi is committed to using technology to not only protect customers and drivers in our cars in the event of a collision or incidents around the road, but also to avoid these types of incidents altogether. So that led us to this collaboration with Audi, where they said, they think that the next thing they want to do is look at school safety. My name is Paul Malhotra. I'm the Senior Director of Connected Services at Audi of America. Alpharetta really stood out as a community that was ready to take advantage of CV2X technology already deployed within the city limits. In fact, within a 78 mile radius, there are 130 intersections that are already equipped with CV2X beacons and 11 school zones that have transmitting equipment ready for CV2X communications. And the organization that helped put all this together was Applied Information through their IATL engineering technical facility. So then what happened is Bluebird Bus Company, which is based here in Georgia, we invited them up here and started talking to them. I'm John Barrington. I'm the director of product planning at Bluebird. We often say that the least safe part of the school bus trip to and from school is when the student's loading and unloading. If we can get kids onto the bus or off the bus and across the road in a safer manner, it's just a no-brainer, really. Working with Applied Information in Audi has been very smooth. They wanted our involvement and our expertise in the industry, and so that's really been great. It's really been, in a lot of ways, refreshing. And so they joined the memorandum agreement. Now that made the link between the school bus community and the automotive community. And that's the first time that's happened. Working with Fulton County Schools, they're a longtime Bluebird customer. And the other thing I think that really sticks out for me with Fulton County is that they're really forward thinkers. And, and that's not always the case in our business. I'm Trey Stowe, Director of Transportation and Operations for Fulton County Schools. Fulton County Schools, we run a fleet of 930 school buses for the district. We transport upwards of you know, 70,000 students, the largest propane fleet in the state, as well as almost one of the largest propane fleets in the country with the state's first electric school bus. And you know, we focus strictly on student transportation for Fulton County Schools. In this day and age, we know that distracted motorists are greater than ever. We're using applied information's technology that they have. We've deployed it on one bus here in the city of Alpharetta. And they're using it to help develop notifications to motorists before they ever even become in sight contact of a school bus that's loading students. I already contributed a electric SUV, e-tron, the latest SUV, with this connected vehicle technology. We did the development here, and the Audi engineers did the development based out of California as an Audi vehicle approaches a school zone, it will get an alert from a beacon that is designated in that school zone, and that provides the information the driver needs to slow down. In fact, if there's a school bus that's actively picking up and dropping off children, that same type of technology, visual or an audible alert in the vehicle, that allows the driver to react to that situation and bring the vehicle to a stop. You know, we had the knowledge of how a school bus operated. We knew exactly what needed to transpire. So we took our technicians and worked with Applied's technician and it was a, a quick install. It didn't take much just to get the pilot underway. Bringing everybody together is probably the biggest success of the IATL. We think it's important to get that 360 perspective on how exactly to deploy these types of services and solutions uh, in school zones. 
it's extremely exciting. The possibilities of what this can do and what it already does, a lot of times motorists don't even know what's going on and what's taking place. But they're not even aware of it, but it's actually putting them in a safer environment. It's mind boggling sometimes. We always should be looking towards the future, what's on the horizon and what can we do to embrace it and see where it is that we can do our part. Just like in this situation, we know the school bus industry. We know how it operates and what needs to be taken into consideration. They need that input in order to be able to develop this kind of technology. It's going to really require that brands work together. It's really a holistic solution and not just everybody out on their own island. Anywhere that we can put ourselves out there and help develop what might be coming down the road, I think is a benefit for everyone. So we're still early in this game but we've already come a long way with V2X and we think that builds a great foundation for where this thing is going to go and we're very optimistic. I think being a part of such a proactive community is a plus. I like to say the world is run by people who show up. So actually to make a difference, you just need to show up. You know, instead of why would we do something like this, it's why not? I think that's a big factor in working with all these groups to improve the safety and to bring this connected technology to the school bus. I, I just think it's gone really well. And so how things are going to unfold and what pace they're going to unfold, I don't really know that. But all we know is that we can push the technology forward, again on the focus of not some mystical thing in 10 years time. But let's deliver applications today. You know, in the future, parents can just send their kids by the school bus to school, tension-free.